Hi guys, welcome to my channel Math Army. In an acute angle triangle ABC, if <coughs> sin A plus B minus C equal to 1 by 2 and cos B plus C minus A is equal to 1 by root 2, find A, B, C. Guys, this question is from trigonometry and I haven't seen this kind of question in the recent past. One of the student has asked and uh, thought of making a video. And I have practiced a couple of times before making this video. So I want your complete attention here. Okay. Now let us get into the problem. Here the sum of angles in a triangle is always equal to 180. Right. Normally in a triangle you will be having A, B, C angle. So I have taken A plus B plus C equal to 180. Okay. Now uh, A plus B plus C uh, equal to 0. I am going to use later within the solution. So now let us get into the problem. What they have given here? Sin A plus B minus C is equal to 1 by 2. And what is the value of 1 by 2 in terms of sin, sin 30? Right? So instead of 1 by 2, write sin 30. Now, so you can strike off sign on the both the sides. So what you are left with, you are left with a plus b minus c equal to 30. And this is going to be my equation number 1. Okay. And I will be using this part later on. Now, what information has been given in the question? Cos b plus c minus a equal to 1 by root 2. Now, what is the value of 1 by root 2 in terms of cos? Cos? Cos 45. Yes. Now, so instead of 1 by root 2, I am going to write cos 45. Okay. So here, cos 45. And cos on both sides get cancelled here. And you are left with b plus c minus a equal to 45. And this is going to be my equation number 2. And if you remember the first part a plus b plus c equal to 180 is going to be my third equation. Okay. Now, before getting into the problem. So guys, if I am going to add equation 1 and equation 2, what is going to happen? Now let's see them. Okay. So guys, I am trying to fit everything in the same screen so that there will be a no loss of continuity. Okay. So write a statement. Add equation 1 and 2. Now write A plus B minus C and plus B plus C and minus A equal to 30 plus 45. Now, here plus A minus A get cancelled. Minus C plus C get cancelled. And what you are left with? 2B. 2B is equal to 75. So, therefore, B value is 75 divided by 2. And 75 by 2 is going to be 37.5 now okay I got B value now I need to find A value as well as C value okay so here I am going to use equation number 3 okay and uh, here I am going to subtract guys here I am going to subtract equation 2 guys equation 2 from equation 3 in the earlier part I have done adding of equation 1 and 2 here I am subtracting equation 2 from equation 3 so first write equation 3 here a plus b plus c is equal to 180 now write b under b and plus C under C 
and minus a under a okay and b is nothing but plus b equal to 45 because we are subtracting change the signs of equation 2 so minus a becomes plus a minus b minus c and minus 45 guys here plus b minus b plus c minus c get cancelled and you are left with 2a equal to 180 minus 45 and the value of 180 minus 45 is going to be 10 minus 5 is 5 7 minus 4 k okay, 135 so therefore a is equal to 135 divided by 2 and the value is going to be 67.5 guys by just looking at my um, explanation it may seems very easy but practice just writing the question then only you get to know that how much part of the question has got into your head okay now I got B value I also got a value now take this a value and B value and substitute in the equation 3 and the equation 3 says a plus b plus c equal to 180. Now a value is 67.5. B value is going to be 37.5. And c value we don't know. So write plus c equal to 180. Now add 67.5 and 37.5. So 67 and 7 is going to 60 plus 30, 90. 90 plus 15, 105. Right? Yeah, 7.5 and 7.5 is going to be 15. And 60 plus 30 is going to be 90. So 90 plus 15 is 105. Just I'm cross checking. I don't want to do any wrong here. Guys, uh, you know, practice after this question, okay? 105 plus C equal to 180. Now, C is equal to 180 minus 105. And the value of C is going to be 75. That's it, guys. Therefore, A value is 67.5. And the B value is 37.5 and C value is 75. Okay, guys, you know, this kind of question I haven't seen in the recent past in the CBSE final examination. So I want you to practice a couple of times, okay, before you get the complete command over these kind of problems. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.